Welcome to Adventures in Freeze Drying. Today, we're gonna to do two recipes at the same time of the same thing. One would be if you already have these ingredients in your freeze dried pantry, because some of us have done these things and have them. I don't have all of it yet, so I need to make some of it. The other would be if you wanted to just make this and then freeze dry it, and then we can also compare them and see how they rehydrate. So I'm going to make a queso dip for with like your nacho chips that has hamburger, usually Rotel for me, and Velveeta. I got a great sale on Velveeta where I got this for $3.99 a piece instead of $8.49, making this video totally possible. And I think I want some cheese powder in my arsenal. Um, it adds flavor to things. No, this is not the best cheese. It's full of all kinds of stuff. But you know what, if shit hits the fan, this is okay. If you don't have Rotel, that's okay. If you have freeze dried onion, which I do have, or some peppers of your choice as far as how spicy you want this, and some diced tomatoes, and you already have this freeze dried, you could add those ingredients, or if you wanna to try to make this fresh and freeze dry it, you can use these ingredients instead of two cans of Rotel. I'm going to go ahead and use this for my fresh and just freeze dry the two cans of Rotel for the freeze dried version of it to put it together from individual ingredients. So hang with me as we get stuff ready to go in the freeze dryer, and then we'll start cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is just dump these two, can, these two cans of Rotel right on a tray. It should um, freeze dry up beautifully. I can probably use some sort of spatula if I need to to get it off the tray. I'm not expecting it to be terribly sticky. So this should be just fine. I'm going to cover this with one of my stacking tray lids that I got from freeze drying supplies and get this straight in the freezer so that way it starts to freeze. The nice thing with these stacking tray lids, this tray when stacked on top will lock in place, which is awesome for carrying your stack to your freeze dryer and not having stuff slide around and fall. So I'm going to go put that in the freezer and then we'll start slicing up the cheese. Okay, so I've got my Velveeta opened up. I'm just using a butter knife because this is Velveeta. And I'm going to try to keep these to like a quarter inch thick. I want these to freeze dry pretty evenly and quickly. I think any thicker than that and the middle could be difficult to get freeze dried. I might even pull those in half, cut them in half yet. Again, just the more areas for moisture to escape, the better. So I kind of like that idea to break those in half even. So I have gone ahead and cut these more into little quarters. I've spread them out pretty far on my trays, so I'm gonna go ahead and make space for this last quarter on here. So this is taking up three of my medium trays. I already have the um, hamburger freeze dried, so I don't need to freeze dry that ingredient because I already have that in my pantry. And then we'll go ahead and also freeze this as we wait for the Rotel to get frozen and this will go right in the freeze dryer as is. I have diced up my small yellow onion. You can use whatever onion you want for this. And just like half a teaspoon of olive oil with a pinch of salt and pepper, I'm going to go ahead and get this sauteed and we'll get some of the ingredients added to my crock pot before we saute up the meat and get that rinsed and added. I'm going to go ahead and add my sauteed onions. I just cooked them till slightly translucent. I did not get these caramelized or anything. You could if you wanted to. I'm choosing not to. Then I'm going to add my diced tomatoes. Now these, if you're going to eat this fresh, you may want to drain because this is going to be freeze dried. I can always um, rehydrate it with less water before um, we eat it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the diced chilies. I'm just going to add those. I am not draining them. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, if it's too runny, I can fix that when I rehydrate it after it's been freeze dried. I'm gonna put this on low, and this needs to get all melted and incorporated together. While this is starting to warm up, I'm going to cook my one pound of hamburger, get it browned, drained, rinsed with hot water, and then we'll add it to our crock pot. 
I have cooked, drained, and rinsed my hamburger. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one pound of, it was one pound, I should say, fresh before you cooked it up. So whatever that is, once it's been cooked, added that in here. This on low heat is gonna take an hour or longer um, to heat clear through and become nice and runny. So I'll put the lid back on my crock pot and we'll check this um, probably every 15, 20 minutes and stir it. And then once this is to the right consistency, we'll go ahead and get it trayed up and ready for the freeze dryer. This has been heating on low heat for about an hour now. And finally, as I'm stirring it, I don't see any chunks of Velveeta left in here. It's all incorporated and nice and smooth. So I'm going to unplug the crock pot and we'll get this trayed up. Using a spatula, I'm gonna pour about half of that on one tray and about half of it on the other. So this will make enough to fill, probably low fill two medium freeze drying trays, which is perfect because I want to use my dividers, which I have learned helps to speed up the freeze drying process on things that would just be one solid sheet otherwise. So we'll get these leveled out here and add our dividers. I'm an hour and a half into extra dry time and the machine's only been going for 21 hours here. I should say food's only been in. On this one, I'm gonna pop up the dividers. Then we'll see if the middle and the middle square is done. So I broke open one of the middle squares. The center is hot. It was from back in there. So I'm pretty sure this queso is completed. You'll notice it kind of pulled away from the dividers, which also allowed for more areas for moisture to escape, which is why I like to use the dividers. I am not worried about just the Velveeta or just the tomatoes. So I'll see you in the kitchen as we either put this together as a freeze-dried pantry or rehydrate if you made it from scratch.